paper just sounds like it. I'm gonna get this done. I never do it on my Instagram and I never do it on, I don't know what sound bath is. Hoping that he's gonna wear this. Oh my gosh, is she coming? It's just really nice. I don't know what he does to it, but I should have read the email properly. So I'm so happy, like, I think it's an amazing achievement. It's the real, a bit strange. <laughs> Officially broken, I think. Oh, well, you know, what's this? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to another week. Um, I'm very excited to have you here. If you're new, please don't forget to hit subscribe and welcome. We have got yet another busy week. I've got quite a few events this week. One with Charlotte Tilbury, which I'm very excited about. I'm hosting it at Phoenix in York. And then I've got another one on Wednesday night, I think it is, at Castle Howard, which on paper just sounds like it's gonna be amazing. Let's hope it is in real life because it's gonna be really good fun. I can't wait to take you with me. Um, so I've got all those events coming up. I'm trying to think what I'm doing at the weekend. It's just busy, busy, busy. If you're new to this, basically my life is one big roller coaster. I'm up, down, up, down, up, down, busy, 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 um, which is great. I love it. I love being busy. Uh, I used to be a teacher. I used to love the busyness uh, of being a teacher. And then when the holidays came, I was like, oh, it's all quiet again. Um, so today I have been working from home, but I've just finally got out of my tracksuit bottoms. And I'm going to head to go and pick up my little boy from school. I'm picking him up early. We're having a picnic uh, with his class, which will be really nice. Um, so we're going to go and hang out in the park together. He's got a different class next year, so it'd be nice to have a little gathering or party together so that we can see each other before we break up for summer. So somebody who's very organised in our group organised this months ago, completely forgot about it. And all the texts have just been going around today and I'm like, oh yes, the picnic. So I'm off to go and get ready for that and then go and take him to the picnic. For now though, I wanted to show you my dress. I've got on this Jules dress. It's, the weather was really nice this morning and then it rained. Oh, I need to move the rabbit in. I'm just thinking about the rabbit. It's a really long dress. I've put on this belt with it. I'm not sure whether I want to keep the belt or not. I haven't got my heels on yet. The thing I love about it is it's got pockets and it's a really pretty um, summery print. I think I might take my denim jacket with me though, in case it does pour down when we're there. Let's hope not. Um, and it goes all the way to the floor. So hopefully it'll be good for sitting down on a picnic rug. Must not forget the picnic rug. Oh, so much to do. Anyway, I will try and take you with me and try and take you out later on. Later on, I'm trying to, gonna try and head out for a walk with my husband. Every evening we try and go out for a walk um, so that we can catch up with each other. Um, so I'll try and do that. I'll try and get my steps in. This morning I was on the Peloton early, which obviously, as you all know, those of you that have watched this for a while, I absolutely hate, but you know, I need to do these things. I'm slowly getting into it, but I still don't like it. So I managed to get half an hour done on there. I did some weights, I also did my hula hoops. I've done really well this morning and then I've had loads of meetings, one of which was very exciting, but I'm gonna run out of time now. So I will tell you about that in the week. I'm going parkouring here. Are you? I'm just walking around the park. It's really pretty here. I haven't been here in ages, have we? I think the last time we came here was for a picnic. <gasps> no. Fox gloves are out. I Look how pretty they are. Yeah, we went for a... Oh, you've been here already, have you? That... Oh, really? Maybe you came with school. Okay. I think I've only been once. It's very pretty. Oh, look, the red instruments are going to come out. Or have they been out? They look like they've been out. Have I missed them? I know where You know where we're going. Okay, you, you lead the way. <gasps> That's a dinosaur in there. There's a dinosaur. I like this view basically and he takes a look at me 
doing the same video. Everyone else likes this house, and that's my house over there. That one there. It is my house. It will be my house. It will be. You watch this space. Good morning, I'm back on the Peloton. I'm doing a quick 30 minute cycle and it's not enjoyable, but I'm gonna get this done. Then I'm gonna do a weight class, I think on here and a stretch class so that I can get it done and out the way for the day because I do not enjoy this. I'm definitely not going on the treadmill just doing this today. Ooh. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I've been working from home today. I have achieved a great deal, which has been amazing. It's been pouring with rain here. So by the time you watch this, I think it's about two weeks later, I never do anything in real time. I never do it on my Instagram and I never do it on here. So people never know really where I am. Anyway, in two weeks time, where will I be? Uh, what day is it? Tuesday. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna be away then on holiday. I feel like I'm gonna be away, can't think. But, so when you are now, today, while I'm filming this, it is absolutely pouring outside. And, which has been really good for the garden because it's just been so dry. Basically all my plants are dead. So I'm hoping they're gonna come alive um, after this big rainstorm. So because I've been working from home today, I am in comfy, casual clothes. I've got my um, little tracksuit on. I got this last year from Mint Velvet really comfy it's like a toweling robe and it comes with little shorts obviously I haven't got the shorts on because it's freezing uh, but I don't put makeup on when I tend to work from home so today I've put on this which is the Abaji uh, product that I got last week when I went to go and see Joe, and it is a tinted moisturizer but with a factor 50 in it so she was recommending to me that I wear this every day anyway under my makeup and she was like you really don't need to wear a foundation and I said yeah I really do those of you that know I love a thick foundation so although this is nice it's perfectly lovely to wear as a base for under my foundation it's fine for working from home but I probably wouldn't wear this just out with just my skin although it just seems to give me nice coverage it's quite like glowing so um I was coming on here to talk to you about products so that is I just thought I'd mention that while I came on Tomorrow, I'm off to a very exciting event. I've sat in here so that I can read it off the computer so I get it right. I am off to a solace. Is that how you say it? Sol solstice. What's wrong with me? Uh, solstice Festival from Soil of Soul. Is that, oh, that might be a link through to them. Oops, it's linked blue. Oh, it's actually just linked through to the page. And it is at Castle Howard. So those of you that don't know Castle Howard, you're probably not Yorkshire based. If you come to Yorkshire, it's one of those places where you need to go and visit. It's got a great kids, um, wooden, beautiful climbing park thing. So if you're coming up here, then definitely recommend that. Oh, look, it's sold out. So it's a fireside supper and sound bath. So I have got a PR invite. I'm off there tomorrow. Um, we've just had an email to say what to wear. So I was like planning my outfit and everything as usual. So excited I was actually going out and doing something exciting. And it's basically come in comfy clothes because you've got to meditate. And there's a sound bath. I don't know what a sound bath is. And then there is a fire ceremony to where you can let go of things that no longer serve you. I'm going to be way out of my comfort zone with all of this but it sounds like great fun so i'm quite excited there's also a three course seasonal supper as well so it's like a full evening i think it said it would start at six until 10 30. so i need to go and find like some yoga gear i don't have any yoga gear um i think i'll just wear some tracksuit bottoms or like some gym leggings. I've got no idea what to wear. But I'm so excited because obviously one, it's at Castle Howard. Uh, I love Castle Howard. It's such a beautiful venue. Plus the team that work there are so lovely. I've worked lots with them in the past doing events there and they're really cool. So I'm really hoping they're gonna be there. And then it is also being run by a lady, a lady uh, who I've known for years and years and years. Um, she runs this company called Jolly Allotment. She's called Polly. Um, so if you have time, look her up. I'll try and put a link to her below. I have worked with her quite a bit in the past. 
doing various events over the years. I haven't seen her for ages. So I've just emailed her going, I'm so excited to see you. So I think there's about 30 people going and obviously I've just been on the Castle High website and it's actually sold out. Um, so I am really intrigued to know what's going to happen tomorrow. But of course, I'll take you with me. I think I'm allowed to video lots of different bits, but just not the meditation. So I will try and video it so you can see what it's all about. So I, hopefully they'll do this every year. I've come on here to talk to you about these products here. So they've just been sent to me. They are from this company called here called Helio Care. Now, I don't I haven't tried them. I'm going to try them obviously so i'll fill you all in once i've tried them uh, but i wanted to show them to you before i open the box i have heard great things about these products and i'm just going to read through why they are good so it's i had to read it off the screen i'm really sorry because i'm so dyslexic i've literally forgotten what i've just read uh, so Helio 360 provides high level broad spectrum protection against UVA, UVB, visible light, including blue light from digital devices and infrared A. So it's an award winning sun protection that gives your skin the very best daily protection against the sun and daylight. And it also prevents premature skin aging from within so obviously in our family we are quite hot on putting that's the wrong word isn't it quite hot we're very good at putting on some protection because my husband is a melanoma surgeon so he he obviously sees all different cases and everything like that but he has always taught me that you must wear some protection and i didn't really understand the importance of it before I met him, obviously I knew you're meant to and it's the right thing to do and all those sorts of things, but I never really understood why. And so since been married to him, I have really learnt how important it is. And I was just reading through some of the frequently asked questions on here. Where is it here? Frequently asked questions. I was just like, seriously, is this a thing that people ask? Um, so it's obviously vegan friendly, yes. Why do I need to wear sun protection all year round, even when it's not sunny? So there are different sun, sun, there are different kinds of radiation. UVB is the strongest in the summer months and cannot penetrate cloud. If it's UVB, that can cause sunburn. See, all of this I find really fascinating. Anyway, there was one question here. Is going on a sunbed before holiday better for my skin because it doesn't burn easily? I was like, seriously, do people think that is a proper question? Like, no. And they've written, absolutely not. Some beds are incredibly harmful to your skin. It's like, is that not obvious? I think I can't believe some beds are still allowed. Anyway, I've been sent these products to try and we are going on holiday, so I am going to be taking them with me. But I just wanted to show you what what they were about and show you the boxes and things like that. Sorry, I'm really getting into this. I'm reading all about it. It's really quite interesting anyway there are loads of different products in this little magazine that was sent my gosh it's fascinating so they've they've sent these capsules which um are in the book and uh it says so if you're so whether you're heading to the beach playing outdoor sport or generally want to help keep your skin healthy then helio care 360 capsules are ideal to use as a skin health supplement alongside your sunscreen. So anyway, I thought they were quite interesting. I'll try those. And then I've just been trying on the creams and they've actually got like a tint to them. Where did it say about that? It said here, Doo -doo 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 -doo. what color uh, is it? So it's like, I've just tried all three and it, sm it smells really nice. I, um, Whenever I go on holiday, we tend to buy Nivea or whatever's on offer. I don't know what I've got here. Look, some Sultan. Just had that for my handbag. Now I'm obviously going to have this because it's back to 15, not 15. I use Clarins. I love Clarins. I just think it's such lovely smells. So when we go away, I tend to buy myself some little Clarins treats in the airport. And uh, it's just a fact of 30. And I you're supposed to kind of you can use this on your face well i do use it on your face maybe you're not meant to oh yes face uh but it's quite thick 
and I don't then tend to like to put it with the foundation and over all the other products. What I've just tried with these, I really quite like it. It's like, so they've got a fluid cream here, an oil, a gel oil free, but they all come out with this kind of like, what do they call it? A natural color. So it's kind of like, oh, sugar, there we are. Can you, let me get my head out of there. Just wants to focus on my face. Might just put some on. Oh, it's really nice. It's very light. I like that. That is the gel oil free. But it smells quite nice. It smells a bit summer. It just smells of summer. That's lovely. I could quite happily wear that underneath. If I wasn't wearing my Abaji tinted moisturiser, I might wear that underneath a foundation or something. That's really nice. It smells amazing. So all their products are 50 factor. And then I've also got this pigment solution fluid. So I'm actually going to read up about all of these before I properly try them out. But I just wanted to show you. I've also got a discount code. That was why I really came on here. What Now, what is the code? I think it's Caroline10. Let me just look for you. The code is Caroline10. So if you use that, you get 10% off any of their products. And you can buy them online. Or if you wanted to see them in real life, you have to look and see where they're stocked. They're only stocked in certain places. If you buy what was it two products now oh no what have I done with the message here we are if you buy you get a free cosmetics bag which looks like it's this one here uh, when you buy two or more products it's quite nice this I'm gonna keep I'm actually gonna keep it all in here yeah good, good idea it's my suntan bag now there we go Ooh. I'm quite impressed with those. Really nice. Do do, very nice. Brilliant. I'm really pleased about that. Um, I will obviously keep you updated as to how it's going. If you've got any questions though about these products, please do send me a message either on below or if you want to send it privately, send it over on my Instagram account and I'll be able to answer you. Um, but I think it's really important to look after your skin as you know i've been trying to do that more recently um and so i'm going to take this idea all over not just on my face but all over my body as well um so uh, i'll keep you posted on how all those go so the post has just arrived um and i wanted to show you some pieces that have come so we are working with crew clothing for henley regatta uh, which i am beyond excited about because Henley is like where I grew up and I used to work there when I was younger, maybe I think 14, Could that, can you work when you're 14? I used to work in a bar then, I'm sure we did then. Uh, 15, 16, basically every summer we'd work there and I would make so much money on tips. I used to be the queen of tips and I loved it, it was such good fun. So this year I've, we have been invited by Crew Clothing. They are sponsoring the event and they've invited us to go and dress up for the event. So we have got some clothes here for my husband and some for me over there. And I just wanted to show you a few pieces that they've sent. So first up is this epic blazer. I mean, how cool is this? So this is from their Henley Royal Regatta range. It's got the lovely crest on it here. Really lovely details. It's very over the top. Those of you that have not been to Henley before, this will fit right in, this blazer. It literally looks so good. Um, so I'm really hoping that he's gonna wear this. It's kind of, uh, yeah, it will just be hilarious if he does. I think he'll look like he fits in, um, or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like it. It's like a really cool school blazer, is it? So that they have sent, but they've also sent one of these blazers, which is kind of like a linen style blazer. Let me show you here. Um, my husband already wears a lot of crew clothing. He wears a lot of their shirts, stuff that he wears for work. Um, they're always really good quality and they last for quite a long time. So if you're looking for nice menswear, then I do recommend you check out their pages and their website. I've sent some really nice chinos, which look really good quality, very thick. I, I, I'll i have to wait and see what they look like on him. I've got some boat shoes down there too. 
and then we've got this linen shirt which i'm not sure will go with this uh blazer i think it needs a more smarter shirt but it would go i think with this lovely blue blazer so we will see what it all looks like together but i'm very excited to see james all dressed up then over here we've got two different very different outfits actually both from their henley regatta uh range um there is this one which let me try and hang it up here so you can see or oh, can i do that I don't want to ruin my curtains so this again yes look it's from the henley royal regatta range there I'll try and put some links below so you can find what these outfits. This is quite a high neck for me, so I think I'd have to wear a necklace that maybe came down to drew the eye down. I'm gonna try it on. It is navy, although it looks black. It's got a beautiful kind of lining underneath, so it looks like skin color. I'm gonna try this on and see what it looks like on, but I really love the detail. I think it's really nice. On the back, it's got a beautiful little V as well. It's really nice. So we will see, I'll see what that actually looks like on. And then I also got a kind of safer option, I would say, which is this beautiful white dress, which I've kind of been eyeing up for quite a while. It is a really good staple piece. Can I just try and shut this? I don't know if it'll shut with the hanger on there. Oh, maybe, there we go um you can see it there and it's got a little belt detail so it also comes in red that dress but i think the white is probably better for me and i think this will be a more useful dress the blue dress that i got from crew, crew clothing a couple of weeks ago fits so well and the shape and the cut is really lovely so i'm hoping this is going to be the same obviously it needs to be steamed and ironed and all that but i just think it's really pretty look at the lovely detail on there so hopefully i think that will be really nice and then i've got these blazers as well to wear with it we've also got our hats from hicks and brown so hopefully we're going to look the part i feel like that is a little bit more casual and maybe i should go with this one i'm not sure i think i'm gonna to have to try them on so i might try them on and then show them to you and see what you think i've also got these lovely this lovely bag which is really cute for summer. It's got, it's got a little tie here, a little tie, a little a little handle, so it's like a little clutch, which is really sweet. And then these, which I thought were lovely, really love the bow detail. You know I love a wedge, so and they're not too high. Um, they're like a little suede kind of fabric, really nice. So I'm hoping those are gonna be so comfy to wear because I'll be on my feet all day. I didn't want to have heels because I did not want to dig into the floor. So I think, I'm hoping these will be really smart. And then also, I didn't even know crew clothing do sunglasses, but they do. How smart are these? I really like those. So I'm going to be wearing those as well. And you will have to help me, I think, pick which outfit to wear because I really don't know. I will get these steamed and tried on and see if you can help me decide what to put on. Next up, I am doing a giveaway with a company called Horte over on my Instagram. We have got a giveaway with a bottle of this Rosé Prosecco. Um, these little mini chocolates, which look really cute. I'm surprised I've not eaten them already, but I'm being really good. I'm not going to. Um, and then a beautiful bunch of flowers. Um, so I'm going to put these into a vase and arrange them in a really nice way. So I'm just too high aren't I <laughs> and then I'm going to try and take some photos ready for a giveaway which I'm going to be doing with them over on my Instagram page to win flowers prosecco and some chocolates Good morning, I am makeup free as well today. This has not been a very good makeup vlog. However, tomorrow night, um, you will be seeing me have my makeup on by Charlotte Tilbury, not herself, her team, I mean. 
when I say that, everyone's like, oh my gosh, is she coming? I was like, no, I don't think she is. But the lovely team at Phoenix at Charlotte Tilbury will be doing my makeup. Thank goodness for that. So I'm going to hopefully learn lots of tips off them on how to put the makeup successfully on my face and keep it on. For now, though, I am off to go to get my hair done. I'm in Leeds. So I, I travel around wherever my hairdresser goes. And he was at the very start of my journey with him, which was nine years ago gosh it's really good for me to stick with a hairdresser um he was in our village or near our village and so i went to him and then he moved to a different salon moved to a different salon blah, 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 as they do so i just traveled along and moved and now he's in leeds so it's a really cool hip hip is that word hip hairdressers so i really don't fit in it's like cool people anyway but i love going it's like a it's an old kind of converted industrial building so it's quite a cool place to work you can see why i want to wear there um so i'm in leeds i'm coming to see him uh sort out these routes let's hope he can work his magic and then before that though i'm gonna go and have a cheeky we got oh, i'm here early it's good um i'm off to have a cheeky facial with um clarence on their beauty bar so you might have heard me talk about this before i think the price has gone up slightly now i think it's the 28 sorry pounds but you get like a 45 minute facial in one of their chairs so in lots of the clarence stores in john lewis they have this kind of beauty bar section at the back of the counter and you sort of lie in this chair and you, you can pick the different facials and obviously do they do a consultation and all that sort of thing but it's just really nice and facials i just find are so expensive these days i don't think you can get one for less than 50 quid no way and i was looking the other day at a spa place and they were like over 100 and i was thinking really and obviously it would last longer and it's uh, as in the treatment would last longer but i think this is great so it's like a really cheeky treatment thing that i try and fit in when i'm coming to the hairdressers so i'm off to see my lady who does it who's really lovely uh, but they're all very nice in there um wendy's lovely manager she's really good um so if you are in john lewis at all in leeds then i totally recommend you book in you can book online or you can go into the counter and book it and i've just done it now because sometimes they use oil and i quite like having an oil hair massage so i thought it'd be really good to get it done first then my hair then sort out my face then get back because i'm off to castle howard tonight <laughs> just got back uh, I'm loving my hair I don't know what he does to it but it kind of does this lovely wave and he does it with straighteners like if I do that I just burn myself and um, so I've gone quite blonde normally I have a bit of dark color coming into it as well and I haven't got that this time but I want it lighter for summer so I think it works quite well I'm really pleased with the cut 
and the colour um, and obviously how he curled it. So I'm just getting ready to go out to Castle Howard. Tonight I am going to an event there. I'm going to take you with me. I've got on casual clothes, which I feel a bit weird about because if I'm going somewhere like Castle Howard, I like to dress up. Um, and as you all know, I love dressing up. Anything to get out of the house and go to events and socialise, I love all that. So I've got on the, this. These are my Akai products. Can you see here? I've got a reel coming up with them in next week, I think it's coming up. Um, I really love their products. They're really nice kind of outdoor more than sort of yoga wear they're more like um walking or climbing or that sort of thing i mean you can wear it for gardening people do all sorts with it i'm i love this so i've got the t-shirt on which has recently been sent to me so it's got short sleeves it's got like all these i can't really show you on this can i um hold on oh so can you see here it's got like all these kind of um air holes which you probably should wear a dark bra not a light bra underneath um so you can see them but it's all got the lovely logos this is really nice and kind of thick so i'm hoping as the evening gets colder i'll be able to do this up and feel a bit more cozier do you think i need another layer i don't know it's hot out there i'm not sure um but i think the majority of it is actually outside so i'm thinking should i bring another i might bring another sort of jumper thing just in case and then on the bottom I'm going to put on my trainers so that's why i've got these little um sock covers on they're from marks so i quite like these ones so sock covers what are they called trainer socks so they're not really i don't know what you call them but i've got them on they're quite they they just don't look very good do they? that's what i'm wearing so i'm on the bottom i've got love leggings i really love this brand they're really high-waisted very very comfortable this is kind of like a really nice green color really love it it's not really bottle green it's like an forest green or something like that but anyway I've got these on so I'm hoping that I'm going to look the part I might do a sort of French tuck on this because it's quite long um and everybody else will be wearing this I'm thinking I might bring a backup dress just in case you know I turn up and everyone's sort of dressed up and then they're getting changed I'm not really sure I should have read the email properly that's what I should have done anyway um so I'm just going to get all my stuff together head up to Castle Howard and I will take you with me for this event and show you around. So I've just arrived um, and there's a beautiful peacock over there, you can't see it. It was just making lovely noises. So I'm just walking through the walled garden um, where the event is. And I've been here to an event before with the kids and we went to this Peter Rabbit show once in the summer and it was absolutely magical. So thank goodness it's not yesterday where it absolutely poured. Um, it's beautiful. Oh, it's such a beautiful place this too so i'm very excited i'm just heading to the walled garden oh there we are event this way i will show you what i get up to so i've just crept back to go to the toilet and then this is where we're going to be eating later which looks rather cool everybody else is sitting in this walled garden so i'll take you through there and then you can see the space that they've set up it's so pretty I cannot believe um, the weather, we're so lucky. the weather um, like hawks over the last few days and it's been very changeable mm. and I'm so delighted that it couldn't actually be a more perfect summer solstice evening in the rose garden here within our walled garden. It might be the screech of a peacock so don't be too alarmed. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, well, you. It's not often you have to have that in a welcome to an event so we decided this would be a really nice thing to do in the Castle Howard grounds this week to celebrate the solstice week. Um, so it's brand new for us. Um, thank you for joining us and putting your trust and faith in what we're a, as a team about to deliver. We hope you have a really gorgeous time. But yeah, we just want you to be comfortable, we want you to have a really lovely evening. 
the notebooks. Nat's going to explain a bit more about the solstice and I'm going to talk later when we do the fire ceremony. Um, but we're going to do an intention and a giving away for the notebook for that. So if you just want to write in the middle of that page and one will tear the back page out later. But how has the last six months been? So for the next half of the year, what do I want to do? Um, but she's asking us to literally stop and have a think about my past. This is the time, you know, this is the time to really truly take the inspiration from the sun, which is our inner fire, and almost cleanse and let go of anything that is holding us back. What do you need to let go of to help you shine? Attracting in positive energy, positive food. You're going to be learning a bit more about food, positive um, rituals. We've just finished, it was totally amazing. Um, I'm just walking down to go and look at the house. It's actually really creepy because there's nobody else around. Oh my gosh, literally the view is amazing. I just wanted to get a photo of the house. I think it's too dark. Anyway, I had the most amazing evening. It was really, really good fun. Um, like something I've never been to before. A sand bath. I obviously didn't realise what that was. Wow. Let me turn this around. How beautiful is that? Wow. I'm just going to try and get a photograph. I've stupidly not bought my big camera, which was really silly. But I will just try and get a photograph now. I've never been here like this when it's completely dark. I think the main house where the, the family live around the other side. I better not venture too far, but I'm going to do a photo now. Good afternoon. Um, I have been at sports day pretty much most of the day, which was a really lovely experience. If you are like me, I've got two girls who, well, the first one who's just not very interested in sport at all, which must take after me. And then I've got a middle one who's not bothered, it's all right. Um, and then my little one loves sport. And I'm beyond proud because he got athlete of the year out of 60 pupils. And it's the first time ever, I think, any of my children have won anything sporty. So I'm so happy. Like, I, yeah, I can't tell you how happy I am. Um, obviously, the girls are different and good at other things, which is great as well. Um, but I always dread the, the whole sports day thing. Anyway, I loved it today. Um, so he did really well. Um, 
and he just looked like he was beaming so I can't wait to pick him up and say well done to him and I've sent it to all the family and yeah I'm so proud of him I think it's an amazing achievement people always say to me oh, he's really good at sport and I'm like oh yeah is he I'm not really sure um but he obviously is so I'm really really pleased for him that he got that so that's really good um so I have got I've been home for a bit now and I'm just uh prepping all the stuff that I've got planned you will have seen that I went to Castle Hound last night and I'm not gonna lie it was the strangest experience ever um I couldn't record the meditation but basically what we had to do is lie on the floor and um or people some people sat up most people lay on the floor and they all had proper yoga mats and all that and I was like oh I'll bring a picnic blanket um and then they went around with these like gongs and like things like chimes there are obviously more technical terms than this and they'd sort of go behind the back of your head and dong and anyway at one point I fell asleep I think I was snoring really feel bad for the person next to me and then a big massive plane came over and I was like oh, I'm so woke up <laughs> couldn't breathe anyway it was a kind of surreal a bit strange experience um but I loved it and I thought do you know, I kept laying there thinking I've got so much to do, I've got so much to do. But once I got into it, it was really good. Um, I think it'd be really good for me to do that more. Just because I have more time in my hands. But that's an excuse that I need to get out of. Uh, and then we went through to this beautiful little tables that you all have seen set up. And we had a three course dinner that was all delicious. All um, vegetarian. Um, it wasn't vegan, but uh, it probably could have been if you were, were vegan. And... Um, but there was, we had some goat's cheese and things like that, but it was absolutely delicious. Lots of flowers from the garden that we could eat, leaves from the garden, um, met some really nice people, very different people to what I would normally hang out with, but it was really good fun. Obviously met Polly from Jolly Allotment. I'm gonna put her website below. She's a lovely lady and I've worked with her lots in the past and it was just a really, really fun experience. So yeah, I'm, I would definitely do it again without a doubt um it was really good fun oh and then we burnt stuff um our intentions in the fire uh, at the end and we had hot chocolate it was honestly it was just the most amazing experience it was really bizarre um i wish i could do it all again it was so much fun so moving on uh tonight i have a, an event with charlotte tilbury which i am really excited about as well it's at phoenix in york so i've met the charlotte tilbury team quite a few times now i've done an event with them before in mint velvet and this time it's just purely charlotte tilbury and i am going to be the model so i'm hoping this will work out well because clearly i'm not a model uh, but um, I think it'd be good for me to be able to talk. I've mainly sold this on my Instagram account, so I think it's gonna be a lot of Instagram followers that have bought tickets. Some of them I know, some of them I have no idea who they are. So it'll be really nice to meet all these people actually in real life. Um, so the idea is that I'm gonna sit um, with no makeup on to welcome everybody in, um, which obviously, you'll, if you've watched the whole of this vlog, you'll see me out makeup on the whole way through, apart from now. Um, so I'm gonna take all this off. I think I'll take it off when I get there because I've still got to do the school run. And then have a bare face for when people arrive so they can see what I look like there. And then hopefully they'll get an idea of what I will look like with all the products on. And we will then talk through each of the products as they go on so you can see uh, what we do and I'm going to try and record bits for this so you can see how the evening pans out but I've had about three people message today saying oh I see the tickets sold up can I come I'm like oh my gosh so there's been quite um a lot of people that want to come to this which has been really nice um so it kicks off at six so I don't think it will go on to 6 15 it'll probably talk to about seven seven to late I reckon shopping so I shouldn't be too late back after last night I didn't get into bed till after midnight um so I am hoping it's not too late tonight but i am hoping it's gonna be a great night gosh this sun is just beautiful it's so gorgeous it's really come out let me move into the shade a bit more hold on does that work a bit better there we go it's not slightly better anyway this has arrived in the post um it is joe loves can you see that and i thought the product was really cool that i'm going to show you um there's no obligation to show or share or whatever it was just we're going to send you this so it's white rose and lemon leaves 
Um, and I did look it up and I thought, what? I didn't really understand what it was, but what a genius product. So it's like gel perfume. It is a bit bizarre, but how handy is this? So you could carry this around your handbag or your makeup bag even, and just apply it. I find that perfume, I don't know why I have had awful episodes of perfume where it leaks or I've taken it away with me and half the things missing. I, th I don't know how that happens but it seems to happen a lot with me. But I think this might work really well. So it's a fragrant paintbrush gel. And the idea is that you buy different scents to go inside it. So it's like a, it's like one of those sort of clicky pens, look, like that. You click it, so I can just see the gel there. And then I'm just gonna sort of put it on, paint it onto my neck. It smells lovely, very refreshing. And then I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna put quite a bit on because I wanna smell nice tonight. Mmm, it smells amazing, very refreshing and very um, sort of summery. So this is white rose and lemon leaves. Also, I don't think that refills are very expensive. Um, so that, that looks like it's a refill to go in it. I'm not sure how long it will last, but I'm going to try and try it out. So I'll let you know. I'm going to put another bit. Oh, sugar. Oh, gosh, don't do that. Um, maybe I'll paint it on this one as well. Painting it on. Anyway, I thought great product. Got a bit too much now. Let's paint it all over my neck. Maybe I'll paint it here. Oh, it smells lovely. Very refreshing. Anyway, I thought that was a very nice product. Your body is the canvas. You are the artist. Now paint with fragrance. I love that. Really cool. Um. I've just ordered some actual Jo Malone perfume as well. The um, Peony one, I can't remember what it is. It hasn't arrived yet, but when it does, I'll show you that. But for now, I think this is really nice. I'm gonna take, in fact, I'm gonna pack this and take it with me because I think that is a good product that I can reapply later and take it out with me and not too big. How small is that? It's really good. Anyway, I better go because I've got to go and do the school run and then I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah, so I'm gonna go now so that I can get ready and get over to Phoenix to help set up and um, be ready with my makeup off for the event. So please carry on watching to see how it all goes. So I am in an empty Phoenix store. I've just gone up and taken all my makeup off. So you can see I've got completely no makeup on whatsoever. So I'm gonna welcome in all the guests at the main door with no makeup on. And then they're going to see my face transform. So I'm having it done with, with Yaz. Uh, so Jess is here too, Yaz. And they're both going to be talking about all the products. I'm gonna show you how we've set it up with all the chairs and everything all around the Charlotte Tilbury counter. And what's good is because we're down here, it means that people can then go and try the products on in the space. So it's amazing. So these are the chairs here where it's all kind of set up. And then I am going to sit over here on this chair. We're going to be welcoming people through the door. We've got drinks set up all over there. Um, and then they will come and down, find their seats on here, and we will then start the talk about quarter past six, um, where we will go through skincare first, and then we're gonna talk about all the makeup. So we're actually gonna think, try this product here, which I haven't tried, have you tried that? No. So I normally wear this, which is their thicker foundation, but we're gonna try this one today, which is a lot more dewy, and I know Charlotte actually uses this, my friend Charlotte and she raves about it, so I'll be interested to see what that is like on my skin. Um, and then we've got obviously all the other products that we're gonna be talking about too. So it should be a really lovely, fun evening. There's more products here. But we, I'll do some videos to show you with the makeup going on. Right, we're just filling up the Prosecco glasses. We've got Melissa here helping me. And we, then we've got the cupcakes here, but there are people here already 
because they're very organized. If they're here, look, Linda and Chelsea are already here. They're outside there. Oh, look, and I don't know who that lady is, but she's obviously coming. So there's lots of people here already for the event. And I'm the store manager here in Fenwick, York. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all this evening to our well, it's actually a really super night because not only have we got our guest here, uh, Caroline, but we're also launching um, Lady Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so that you really to give you that lovely summer glow and to get the best out of you. Now, these girls are, have gone through rigorous, rigorous training. So tonight is about you asking them questions. Okay? It's your night. Their knowledge is honestly second to none. I drive them map and how do you do this? What do you do with that? <laughs> Thank you very much all for coming. It's really nice to see all of you here. So I've taken all my makeup off. I have no makeup on at all. I'm quite new to the Charlotte Tilbury products and I started using them and I was like, these are amazing. Why have I never used this before? It's for all skins and all ages. And so I think it's a really good product. I absolutely love using it. And people seem to, when I wear it, people are like, what have you done to your skin? What are you wearing? And I really think it's a new product. So I'm really pleased to be here. I'm really pleased to be with this team. We're going to address the business manager and Mrs. Jazz, our lead artist. And we've got Tash over there, which I'm going to tell Yeah, so we do the full talk lot, but like what we said, we can do any lot for you tonight. If you want to ask questions, if you've got any lab products that you don't know about, we're here to answer those questions. This feels really nice. It's like really good. And especially when you massage it onto the outer corner of your eye, when you've got that little kind of like fine lines on the outer corner, use the applicator to massage that in. When it comes to putting your concealer on, it's got that plumping, that kind of like base, and that is yeah, smoother. And Charlotte Tilbury actually yeah, puts all their products in ice when she's doing the makeup on all the yeah. other models. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. 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 I've got, I've got yeah. ice yeah. into it as well, so what you do is you just pop it on and have it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So would you keep that in the fridge then? Would you keep that in the fridge? Do you know, I'm not going to keep it, but I actually like to keep it in the fridge. I just find it more cool and more relaxing. It's actually going to be a bit more as well. Anyone remember last year when we got the heat wave? I put it, I put that in my fridge in the morning. I was using it dreaming, and we've, we've actually got like um, a, a mask that you can put it in the freezer as well. I was wearing that. Do you remember me saying a picture in the group chat? There's a mask like you put on on your eyes or just underneath. Um, I would put it underneath, but if you've got time as well, just kind of like massage it around the right. Okay. Yeah, like kind of like underneath the brow bone as well. So in the morning before you prep your uh, makeup, then I would prefer the lighter kind of like texture because it feels like it's just a bit lighter on the skin. It feels very nice. It's not mm -hmm. quite light. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's cooling. Mm -hmm. so if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. So, so they only do these two foundations. Yeah, we do the whole but flawless filter. Which oh yeah, is, yeah. 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 yeah.
everything off, really setting spray. Mm -hmm. So if you know your makeup comes off, yeah. you need to use yeah. a little bit of setting spray. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah. a lot of people don't actually use enough of it. So when I use it, I literally take a shower in it. So you just go kind of like move your arms and it makes sure every inch of your skin is covered. But it's like a fine mist and it will settle down into like an invisible filter and it'll help to kind of like prevent your Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the finished look, guys. So Good morning. Um, I'm absolutely shattered, literally shattered. You must think every time I do this video, why are there two things? <laughs> They're from the other shoes and I think the kids have been playing on here and taking them out. I'm so tired. I feel like I've done um, like a big event. I think two events back to back. So Wednesday night I was out, last night I was out. I'm officially broken, I think, And but I'm out here. I've just done a 20 minute cycle and I'm now got to do a... I think I'm gonna do this one at an Emma arm workout, arm and lightweights. I'll do a bit of the hula hoop and then I've got to get ready. I've got a meeting at 10 out and so I've got to get out the door. My, oh, I'm just so tired, I'm literally shattered. Anyway, last night was so amazing. I'm gonna come back on and show you all the products that I got from the event and talk about them later on. But I just thought I'd come in and say, I'm doing exercise, even though it's a Friday because uh, this is a big achievement for me. I've lost two pounds this week, so all is good. I'm doing well. Um, I've got about two weeks left to my holiday and I think I've got four pounds to lose. Mm, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I want to get to my goal for then. Oh gosh, my watch is telling me to hurry up and move. I'm back from my meeting and I'm absolutely shattered. I don't look too bad here. That is because I've applied my makeup, my new products. I can, you can see I'm getting back. I need to reapply my um, makeup from this morning, which I put on very early. Um, anyway, last night was amazing. It was so good. I always get in such a high after the event um, and it's really hard to like come down from them. I find them such a adrenaline rush and I'm doing it and then afterwards it's just like buzzing 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 everyone's like oh, it's amazing thank you and oh, I just love it so I'm absolutely exhausted I really need to sleep well tonight after two nights out I definitely just need a really good sleep and an early night what was I coming on here to say so we just went been to a really nice coffee shop actually I hopefully you saw some pictures below but behind before this um where they were selling lots of local artist work as well really love all that so i'm definitely gonna go back there it had really good present ideas as well so that was really good anyway i wanted to talk to you about last night so it, we obviously did it in phoenix in york you would have seen that and we did a full makeover on my face uh which was a little bit daunted about because obviously when everyone arrived i had no makeup on at all so i had red cheeks loads of pigmentation um and yeah, I was a bit daunted by the whole the whole thing when they all came in. Anyway, it was great. We did the whole face of makeup um, and I tried out some new products which I've not used of Charlotte Tilbury before. Uh, afterwards, I got to meet really lovely people. There were lots of people there that follow me, but also people that follow me then brought their friends. There were groups of people, which was really nice. They obviously had no idea who it was. Um, and so I got chatting to them um, and there were lots of people kind of stuck in a rut not really knowing how to get out of it or how to make themselves be better. And they'd sort of booked this, not really sure if they wanted to come or know what it was. And anyway, they were like, it's great. So they bought lots of different products. And I think that's the most important thing about sharing good um, products like Charlotte Tilbury. 
and getting people to make themselves feel better about themselves. And that is certainly what these products do for me. So I'm gonna show you what I bought. First up, I bought this. I just love the packaging. It is stunning. It's just beautiful. And even sat last night with all the Charlotte Tilbury stuff behind me, I was just like, this is beautiful. It's just like really lovely. All the branding is gorgeous. It just makes it feel so luxurious. So I bought this bronzer. So wait till I open it, you'll be like, oh, um, which looks quite dark. It's almost like clay-like, and they did have darker shades, but we, this is probably one of the lighter ones. What's it called? Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. So um, she used this on me last night. I was a bit like, oh gosh, I'm really scared by this because I'm normally like glitter powder. She was like, no, 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 you need this. So you would work it in with a brush and you do your three motion, which we talked about here. I don't know whether I can do it now because oh, look, there we are. And you just literally would work it in like this. You probably put a lot more on your brush. I'm just doing this quickly now to show you. And take it under the chin so that you take your bronzer like this. I thought it was really interesting as well. I don't know if you saw in the earlier clips, I often apply my foundation with fingers and they were like, no. And I was like, oh. Um, so they were like, no, you must use your brush. And this morning I did use my brush and I felt so much better for using the brush. Um, and anyway, so, so I really like this. Um, you have to kind of blend it in, um, but that's why it's good to use your brush. And you take it into here, so you have your three coming under here. So the good thing about Charlotte Tilbury as well is what you can do is you can book in with them. And I, now I thought it was 70 pounds, but I think it's actually a hundred uh, pounds, but you book in, you make an appointment and you have a full makeover, exactly what I did last night. And then you can use that money that you've spent on the products, which can easily, quite easily happen. You know, the products are expensive, but they last a long time. Um, I've got here, they, they the team, they were so sweet. They gave me this magic night cream, which I've not used. Yeah, I've used the day cream in the day, but I've never used this. And I have my pot of this, which I think I've had since October and it's nowhere near finished. So they last a long time. Like I'm expecting this to last me a long time. I also like the fact it's not a powder. My last compact that I had, I dropped it. Oh, then smashed, I hate it when that happens. So that was really annoying. So this, hopefully this will last me longer. So, I'm really looking forward to trying this, the Magic Night Cream. Uh, they also gave me this, so sweet. They're like a really lovely team. So this is a healthy glow. It's like a unisex one. You can buy it on the website. It's under the foundation section. I've just been looking it up. And I put this on and over the top of my, the, my Magic Cream. Then I put this on, let it all sink in. And then I put my, started to put my foundation on using my brush. But it was really nice. It's kind of like a matte colour. Let me show you. Can I show you? Let me have a look. Um, can you see that? It's like a grey. Sorry, like a grey colour. It's a bit. And I was thinking, oh, how's that going to look? But it was so nice. So totally recommend that product. Um, and then I also I bought this, which basically I think everybody bought who was there. So I do have a concealer, which is like a wand color that I tap on normally, but Yaz used this on me and I was like, oh, what well, you know, what's this? What's this new um, concealer? So it's in a little compact like this, it comes in different colors. So I think there are four colors and it's a corrector concealer. So I've got what number one, uh, fair, fair color. And it just looks like this. Can I get out of the picture so you can see it? really really nice so the idea is you use a brush and you literally paint it on underneath here I probably need I haven't got my brush and I don't want to use my fingers so you paint it on underneath here and here and then you can take it over the eye and then that acts as a sort of base for your eyeshadows going on um everybody last night was like wow because I have got very dark circles under my makeup and they could all see the difference so I think Pretty much most people bought this. I think this was the number one seller last night. Um, so I thought that was a really good product to share with you for that one. And the other thing that I got last night, which I hadn't got, I got lovely lip glosses. They gave me lovely products, the girls. That's really nice. I got this. So this is the setting spray. Um, I have heard people rave about this. There we go. And I 
was like really setting spray i don't really want to spray water over my foundation it surely it will just all fall off um so we talked a bit about that last night and they were like no 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 anyway we put it on it smells amazing i feel like my makeup is sticking on a lot more today we're now into the afternoon and i think it i think so far it's a good product obviously i've only used it last night where obviously it was very good today i've used it but i'm going to continue to use this and come back with you come back to you on my verdict on it but so far so good so those were the products that i got last night i also got loads of lovely samples it's the magic serum which she used on me um which was really lovely and I think the most important thing I learned last night was if you don't have a good base, then your foundation's just going to fall off. And they use the example, if you're going to paint a wall, you have to prepare it first. If you just put the paint on, it's not going to work. You've got to think about your base layers, whether you're going to use masking tape, whatever you're going to do around your wall, you've got to think about that first to make the end beautiful and last. And for me, it's all about lasting and making my makeup stay on my face all day. I want to be glowing and just looking refreshed and awake, which probably sleep might help with that for me at the moment. Um, but these products definitely help. And so totally recommend all the face products before. And we did spend a long time doing that. And when I've been to makeup tutorials before, it's all been about the makeup. But actually this was really taught me that actually if you don't have a good base, it's not going to stay. So that was really good tip, massive tip that I took away. And I've actually got to take more time doing the base, letting it set, uh, adding on a primer, letting it set, and then going in with the foundation. And then hopefully the look will just look so much better. Anyway, it was just the most amazing evening. Um, so I really get to do, hope I get to do an event with them again um, because it was so much fun. And they're just really, really nice team. So I had a really brilliant time. A few more things have arrived in the post. I'm gonna go and sort them out. And then I will show you some of the things that have arrived. I'm pretty much working from home today, which is good. I've got to pop out to the post office, sell some vintage stuff and post some vintage stuff. And um, I've got to go and organize stuff for a brownie camp because my middle one is going away for two nights. And I don't think I realized it was two nights. I didn't read it properly. So that, like, that'll be interesting. So I've got to get organized for that and get her ready to go. I'm taking her up there tonight. That should be fun um, for her. Um, and then we've got a busy weekend as usual. Can't wait to tell you all about that and what I'm getting up to. have arrived from phase eight uh, as you know i'm a massive fan of phase eight i just really love the cut and the quality of them and there's a new store that's opening in leeds it looks massive as well so i'm very excited to go to the opening which is in a couple of weeks and go and see what it's like I'll obviously take you with me uh, but i just want to show you some dresses that have just arrived from them so this one in particular i love it's really pretty it's like a pretty summer print it's got the lovely v neck the tie at the waist here and then buttons all the way down it's also got a kind of frill to the bottom it's just very very pretty summer dress and then this one i absolutely love it's a beautiful linen fabric in a kind of lovely blue it's kind of um a purpley blue i would say almost like a purpley baby blue it's got a lovely tie here i've got a beautiful linen dress uh in pink from them which is slightly longer but the best thing I have is my legs. If I can get them out, I'll show you. That's my best feature, I would say. So when I have the opportunity to get them out, I do. 
Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that one on and showing that you all how that looks. Obviously they've just come out the box, so I need to steam them all. Um, then I have this, I saw this on another Instagrammer on uh, Instagram and I just thought, wow, she looked amazing. It's like a real holiday dress, isn't it? It just looks very comfy, really nice, easy to wear. It's got the lovely V-neck, v yeah, V-neck here and then this kind of wrapped detail, which isn't a wrap. I don't really like wraps. I find that they gape and they are not good for my shape. But this, I think, will work really nice. It's got a zip, obviously, that runs all the way down the back and then a little tie, which is really nice. So that is a really lovely piece. Over here, this is, I think it's, oh, it's a play suit. I thought it was like a short dress, but it's actually a play suit. Shall I get it out? So here we go. Um, I really love the print. It's very similar to this, obviously, completely different colour. It's a really nice kind of, I don't want to say kind of corally raspberry pink. Very nice. Covers the tops of your arms with this nice detail here with the rouging. Got the V-neck here. Cuts just under the bust. Fantastic. And then it's like a little short co co collette set. Is that how you say it? I'm getting mad. Um, I think that would be really nice on a summer holiday. Absolutely love that. It's got the zip up the back. A little frill detail here really easy to wear and then last but not least i've got this lovely piece here um so again this is kind of like a more relaxed dress i'd probably wear this for casual wear um it's got the sleeves that go all the way down just showing your wrists which is obviously my smallest part of me so which i always want to show off um and then it comes all the way down cuts just here and then comes out I really like this. I think this will be great for um, summer holidays. I'm definitely gonna be packing this one, this one and this one on our summer holiday. The next few weeks we are going away and I cannot wait. Um, and I cannot wait to be taking all this lovely, lovely clothes with me and feeling very summery. I can't wait. Good morning. I am having the most delicious breakfast. Well, I haven't started it yet, but it looks delicious. I've got natural Greek yogurt in there. Natural? It's just Greek yogurt. I've got blueberries, strawberries, wal uh, walnuts, yeah, almonds, chia seeds, some almond butter, which I love, banana, apple. This is my idea of like heaven. I absolutely love. I turn it around. I can show you things like this. I just feel. Oh, I just love it. So I've got my water, I'm drinking lots of water. Coffee, um, we got stuck on a on the motorway last night in a big traffic jam. So it was a bit of a disaster with the whole drop off of brownies. So I didn't get back till about 8.30. Um, and then we quickly went out for a walk, my husband and me. Today, I am getting ready to go out to a sort of, party festival thing. I'm not actually sure what it is. So I've got to, I'm just very slowly getting ready. I'm having a really slow morning. The kids are all doing activities. So I am just having a really slow one. And I want to do my fake tan. I've got a mask on at the moment. You can't see it, but I have. And I just want to get very slowly ready using all my tips from Thursday night from Charlotte Tilbury about really thinking about my base before I apply my makeup. So I'm gonna be doing loads of that. Oh, my hair, I've just used a new conditioner. It was really good. It was getting very dry. You might have noticed that I went really quite blonde, much blonder than I normally do when I went to the hairdressers and it then gets really dry. So I have to find a really nourishing um, conditioner. Anyway, it felt so good to actually use a proper conditioner. I've just been using old stuff and getting through it and actually to use something really nice has been really good. So I'm gonna come back on here and show you what I'm wearing later on. I'm a bit undecided. I've got two different hops dresses that I'm thinking of. It's kind of like a salsa theme. So I think a lot of people are actually dressing up properly in proper outfits. I am not. My husband is going in some, I don't know what he's doing. He's got a wig and then he's dressing the kids up in something else. So I was like, okay, I'm not doing that. So I've got to find a dress Mm. Oh, excuse me. Mm. So good to wear. So I think I'm going to wear either a bright pink and red one, the one that I wore for Chelsea, or this green one that I've got, which I haven't actually worn to any events yet. But it's quite 
I've got a big full skirt, it's really nice. My worry is the heat, it's so hot. I think I'm just gonna sweat in it. Yeah, it's not very sunny at all. So I'm not quite sure what to do. Anyway, so we're doing that today um, and it's a bit full on doing that. Um, and then I'm just going to, tomorrow we've got things like the school fair and stuff like that. Um, so it's all a bit of a busy one. So we're just walking in, I have the green dress on. It's far too long and I think I'm going to fall over. But we have arrived. Good evening everyone, we have just finished our barbecue um, and I'm about to sit down I'm going to treat myself to one of these Oh, I can't wait Absolutely love Jude's ice cream I've got a glass of Prosecco and I'm going to sit outside here before I think there's a storm about to come and sort out some work for next week and go through my to-do list and try and make a plan of what I need to do Thank you very much for watching. I am so pleased that you joined me this week. Um, come back next week for another episode where it will be even more chaotic, I'm sure. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching and please do leave any comments below and I will get back to you.